Hello everyone, my name is Fan Xingyun from Wuhan University. I'm going to share our work, Shading Aware Shadow Detection and Removal from a Single Image to You. Shadow is a natural phenomenon in our daily life. Although shadows can provide useful clues for illumination estimation, scene depiction, shadow also degrade the performance of some applications such as object checking and intrinsic image decomposition. Therefore, it is a fundamental problem to detect and remove shadows from a single image and will definitely be beneficial for computer vision and graphic communities. As a some fundamental problem in computer vision, shadow detection and removal have been widely studied in recent years. Deep learning based methods have become very popular due to the success of deep learning in computer vision tasks. Nowadays, Shadow removal involves three main challenges. First, for the image with complex shadow, like a surface with both soft and hard shadow, accurate shadow detection is difficult. Second, there are usually textured details losing on hard shadow regions, which will induce visual artifacts on these regions during shadow removing. Finally, to obtain visually consistent shadow removal results, the shading information should be preserved in the shadow-free image. To overcome the above challenges, we propose an automatic shadow detection and removal method by jointly exploring color clues as well as depth information. First, based on the observation that shadows essentially appear as smooth and continual regions, we develop a shadow preserving filter, which effectively removes the image texture while preserving the shadow and shading information. Then, to effectively detect the complex shadow, we develop a shadow confident propagation scheme for shadow detection, which works well on detecting shadows in various environments. Finally, based on the shadow confidence, we use a novel shading aware shadow removal optimization model to effectively remove the shadows while preserving the shading information of the shadow regions well. In summary, our major contribution are threefold as follows. First, we present a novel shadow preserving texture filter. The filter is immune to texture, boundary, and noise, and enhances shadow and shading information, which enable to better shadow confidence estimation. Then, we present a shadow confidence propagation scheme. It propagates the local shadow boundary confidence to the global scene adaptively. Finally, we present a shading preserving shadow removal framework. It can effectively remove the complex shadow as well as recovering the shading, chromaticity, and texture detail under the shadow regions. Next up, I will show you the detail in our paper. Firstly, we made a shadow preserving texture filter to the input image. This is a modification of the bilateral texture filter with the shadow aware texture similarity instead of structure-aware texture similarity. The shadow-aware texture similarity is the average shadow boundary confidence of the region omega q. We can see the comparison between the two similarity on the right side. So as to calculate the shadow confidence, we first calculate the feature similarity, which includes three parts, chromaticity similarity, normal similarity and spatial location similarity. And then, we can obtain the initial shadow confidence and non-shadow confidence with the feature similarity. And the visual maps are shown here. In order to enhance the estimation of the shadow, we apply a structure-aware confidence propagation to interpolate the confidence around the boundary to other regions. And we get the more comprehensive shadow confidence map. The shadow confidence SI of the pixel PI is then obtained by minimizing this function. The first term encourages the pixel with the large shadow confidence to get a large value which is close to 1. The second term enables the pixel with the large non-shadow confidence to take a small value which is close to 0. The last term is a smooth term with the weight which is the element of the mating Laplacian matrix. As shown in the 2P image, the optimized shadow confidence map is more accurate than the initial one. The shadow regions are more highlighted, 
and the gradient information around shadow boundary is preserved as well. It will benefit our shadow removal in the next step. We can get a shadow-free image by reduce the shadow part in the input image. To estimate shadow-free image and corresponding shadow factor, we propose a following energy equation for shadow removal. This energy model contains four terms. The first term is data term. As we aim to decompose the input image into a product of shadow-free and shadow factor components, we enforce this as a soft constraint while the data fitting. To make the decomposition more robust to wide illumination deviation, we use per channel weight omega c in the constraint. The second term is shading preserving smooth turn. To obtain visual realistic result of shadow removal, the shading component should be preserved in the shadow free image. Our basic assumption is that pixel with similar feature, including chromaticity, normal, and spatial locations, are likely to have the same color or illumination. And then, we also define shadow boundary aware smoothness constraint on beta. We adopt the relative total variation for producing smooth beta. The result of without and with shading preserving smoothing turn are as follows. The shading of the shadow region is better reconstructed. The third turn is chromaticity turn. We assume that chromaticity of the input image is not allowed by illumination effect, such as shading and shadows. In this case, the chromaticity of the unknown shadow-free image F should be the same as that of the input image. So, we define the chromaticity constraint as this function. And the comparison results are shown below. Using this pile, the texture and chromaticity under the shadow regions are better recovered. The last term is constant turn. We pick up the reliable lead pixel that should maintain their beta color and enforce their value to be 1. To better estimate our method, we respectively adopt two datasets to evaluate our shadow detection and shadow removal method. And the evaluation metric are shown here. And then, here are some shadow detection results of our method and other methods. Due to deep learning method heavily depend on the variety of the training data. For some seem that we are hard to obtain the ground truth training data. This method do not work well. This table presents the quantitative comparison with the state-of-the-art methods on the shadow detection accuracy for the two benchmark datasets. Here, we compare our result with different kinds of state-of-the-art shadow removal methods on the benchmark dataset and some other image we collected. And we can see that our method can reduce the shadow in the complex scene well. In this table, we can see the quantitative comparison on the shadow removal using the RMSE in the LAB color space. We evaluate the performance of different methods on shadow region and non-shadow region and the whole image. The results demonstrate that our removal result performed better for illumination recovery in the shadow regions and have the smallest difference from ground truth shadow-free images. However, our method also has some limitations. One limitation is that in the solution of the dark regions, such as the chair and dark texture of the floor, they will be mistakenly detected as shadow regions. In this case, when we perform shadow removal on these regions, it will achieve unsatisfied results, as shown below. In addition, computation cost is currently a bottleneck to our algorithm. In summary, our work presents a shading aware shadow detection and removal method, and we will extend our current method to handle video shadow detection and removal in the future. That's all. Thank you for your attention. Do you have any questions?